I stopped being able to make robots at my old job when China quarantined 780 million people and shut down manufacturing in January. I started reading news stories about medical supply shortages all over the world, and I realized that if China was shut down, we're about to have a big problem everywhere. I realized two things. First off, the maker movement could help address the supply shortages if it could get people moving fast enough. And secondly, focusing on the local response instead of waiting for centralized manufacturing would be the most resilient and fastest way to go. I wanted to encourage makers all over the world to step up and help fight COVID-19 by supporting their communities. We've been focusing on saving the lives of healthcare and essential workers from the very beginning. The maker movement has done an incredible job of fulfilling that mission. Lithuania, for example, managed to increase internal production of supplies to the point where it met the needs of its local hospitals. But two months in, we realized that this is about way more than preventing and treating just this disease. The work we're doing here is building resilient communities filled with inspired and empowered people who aren't afraid to support each other and do what needs to be done in this crisis and in the years to come.